as the sun rose, a star-studded field gathered on the opening day of the 2009 Open at Turnbury. On the DWS, Tiger Wood. Few gave 1500 to one shot, 59-year-old Tom Watson a chance of making the cut, let alone challenging for the title. Absolutely stunning. Five-time Open champion, posted a bogey-free 65 on Thursday. Oh, boom, straight in the middle, Tom Watson on top of the leaderboard. And what was largely viewed as an impressive yet unsustainable start. Tom Watson leads the Open. But whilst others faltered, Watson continued to show his mastery of Lynx golf. Now Tom Watson, this to tie the lead. It's not short. It's not short. Hello! Oh, oh, oh. Tom Watson still leads the Open. Come Saturday evening, any doubts over his staying power were well and truly forgotten. He'd lead the field at four under par heading into the final round. He might. come up and they're all with him. It was up to other, younger faces to keep pace with the American legend. Few managed to do so. England's Ross Fisher. Flacco. And Australian Matthew Goggin. It's all about Matt Goggin. Both sat a shot back as part of a thinning field, able to stay in touch. Played that extremely well. Come on, run it out. The likes of Lee Westwood and Stuart Sink also in contention to make a move on one of the most memorable Sundays in Open history. A wave of noise greeted Watson on the first tee. On the tee from USA, Tom Watson. His quest to become the oldest major winner had the world watching. What had started as surprise was now becoming belief. Now that's a perfect tee shot from Watson. Perhaps under a weight of expectation, Watson would immediately stumble. But to start off with a couple of drop shots in the first three holes is not good. Especially as up ahead, Ross Fisher was making his move. Having started the day a shot behind Watson. Good shot. How's about this then? By the time he left the second, he was the outright leader. Well, you've heard a dream starts, and you've just seen one. That advantage would be short lived. A true display of Lynx golf at its most vicious. Don't know whether to watch or look away. One bad swing, it's a chain reaction. Look at this for triple. Bogey, my goodness, what a mess. Whilst one English challenge was over, another was emerging. He's got a great read. We have a new man at two under. Looking pretty steady too. This is a wonderful shot. How about that for a little gem? The eagle chance. And a putt for two shot lead. It's Go there. Ahead. Leader by two. Brilliance by Westwood. Westwood wasn't the only one finding success on the seventh. Stuart Sink also with an eagle look. Just millimeters from matching Westwood's trick. Both men would play their part in an incredible finale later that afternoon as the pack continued to shuffle. After a troublesome start to his round, Watson had steadied the ship. I think he likes it. He loves it right in the middle of the green. Fabulous shot from Tom Watson. Three straight pars followed by a birdie on seven meant he was now back to within a shot of the lead. The backdrop picturesque, but the conditions punishing. Watson dropped the shot he had worked so hard to gain back. He's going with a 9 iron. I'm not sure what happened. He is about uh, 15 yards short of the green. Disappointed with that one, Tom. That damage limited, with Westwood also struggling up ahead. No. Yes. 
He drops a short lee westward, and the top of that leaderboard squeezes a little bit closer again. The Englishman was now looking vulnerable, and within minutes he would be caught. Oh, for a really good birdie, in my word, how he is fighting back. Goggin joins Lee Westwood at three under par, joint leaders. The leaderboard shuffle around him failed to unsettle Watson. The American responding once more to adversity. The chance of one of the greatest sporting wins of all time growing by the minute. Ahead, Stuart Sink was continuing to entertain. Excellent second. Just to get within one. Always hold it. And Stuart Sink goes to two under par. A run of three birdies and three bogeys showed an inconsistent scorecard. Just like that. Beautiful shot from Stuart Sink. But one that kept him in contention as he walked to the last at one under. Those hopes of a first major win were only boosted by the struggles of those behind him. Westwood, punished on 15 by the slightest misjudgment. Sedone, 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 Sedone. Like a siren calling the players in. Down into the sand. A bogey there was followed by another on 16. Back on 14, Watson would also falter. Oh. He thought he'd made it. Although costly for the American, the hole proved far more damaging for his playing partner, Goggin. This missed putt sparking a run of three straight bogeys that would see him drop down the field and out of contention. The events behind him meant Sink's conclusion to 18 could prove vital. The, the shot into 18 was something that I really drew on from the previous round. It was just a, a shot that landed short of the green, true links type shot, and uh, I trusted the ball will gather on up towards the hole and it did exactly that. Superb, you played shot. I don't remember knowing exactly what I needed to do, but uh, I just knew I wanted to try to make that putt. It's on its way, it's on its way, it's on its way, he's got it, he's got it. Yeah, what a birdie for Stuart Sink. I never felt like I was in it, I never felt like I was out of it. At that point, I knew that I had maybe done something. The clubhouse leader at two under par. All Sink could do now is wait. And hope. Westwood now knew he had to find at least a stroke over the final two holes. Is he going to get the right bounce? Is he going to get the right bounce? Oh, I'm telling you, just watch this. This is going to be absolutely cushy. Come on, come on. Great shot from Lee Westwood. Fantastic. That magic left a makeable eagle putt to once again take the lead. Coming, it must come, it must. Oh no, that's impossible. How did that stay out? Oh, it's all ooh, tingly, tingly, tingly. But momentum still with the Englishman. A closing par would see him join Sink at two under. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Woo, woo. Oh, no. With a cruel roll of the ball, that challenge became far more difficult. On 17, hope of a miracle was quickly becoming expectation. Fantastic effort. It's a birdie four. Now the outright leader, Watson looked just four good strikes away from a record equaling sixth open title against all the odds. 
That score of three under par looked beyond Westwood from the fairway bunker on 18. Westwood really doesn't have a shot here to attack the green. He didn't hold back. Come on. Come on. A marvellous shot. That is just a spectacular bunker shot. That'll rank up there with Sandy Lyle's shot at Augusta in 87. My goodness. The crowd now sensed a home victor could be possible. The atmosphere rose another notch. The destination of the 2009 Open Championship was still very much in the balance. And it's okay, is it okay? It certainly is. If there were any nerves, they didn't show. All eyes now on Westwood's tricky return putt. This would take him to three under par. His opportunity for a first major had slipped by. Oh, what a disappointing end. Yeah, I'm very pleased with the league's world. Played very solidly and had a chance to win the Open Championship. Good cut so easily, in addition. As one story concluded, another was capturing the imagination. A par would see 59-year-old Watson Open Champion once again. Work to be done. Serious work to be done. Gee whiz. Wait till you hear this. Oi, 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 down in two. He could do it. I'm with her though. I'm getting very nervous. something we never expected. Tom Watson, one of the great champions of all time, with a putt to win his sixth Open Championship. There yeah, wasn't to be a playoff it is. The final chapter of this remarkable Open story would begin back on the 15th. A four-hole playoff to decide the winner of the 2009 Open Championship. The exertions of the previous 72 holes appeared to weigh on Watson. His incredible efforts over four days had seemingly taken their toll. A serious misjudgment there from Watson. Sink, with momentum and energy on his side, moved clear. One ahead. Despite his rough steady swing now beginning to falter. Thomas. One moment of magic remained. For arguably the greatest links player in the history of the game. What a great shot. That was pretty good. But from there, his game continued to desert him. Oh no, couldn't get it out. By the time the pair walked back onto the 18th green, Sink's lead was decisive. Watson's achievement, however, undeniable. One of the game's greatest ever had extended that reputation further. My son said, have fun, Dad. It was fun out there. And the old fogey almost did it. The final moment, however, belonged to Sink, winning his first major championship. And he needs one. 
this just doesn't happen, this stuff. I, I grew up watching Tom Watson play on TV and hoping, hoping one day maybe I could follow in his footsteps, not play against him. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Stuart Sink. It's just been amazing. I just feel so happy just to be a part of it, let alone win.